Good morning <clears throat> and welcome back to day eight of 28 Days of Gratitude Using the Magic. Today is day eight and our topic is the magic ingredient, which is very exciting. Yesterday we reviewed um, how to use uh, gratitude to get out of um, negativity and that talked about if you have a complaint about anything that you then have to think of 10 things you're grateful for about said thing. And um, to really be aware of where your thoughts are uh, going and try to find positive things in the negative. Um, I am feeling a little bit down today. I had a negative experience that was quite intense yesterday. And my inner child feels, you know, really like sad. So, um... I'm being here and moving forward. And um, yeah. So I just thought I'd share that in case my uh, energy and or facial expression seem a little bit different today. Also in the way of uh, truth and authenticity, you know, I'm just sharing kind of where I'm at with my feelings, um, but not wanting to go into detail or story. So, um, a friend of mine reminded me to think of the things I'm grateful for, uh, despite the, the hard reality that I experienced or experience. So just grateful for the lessons I get to learn, grateful for, uh, the opportunities to, um, show up and try one's best. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Day eight. The magic ingredient. A thankful heart hath a continual feast, says W.J. Cameron. Ah, giving thanks for food before you eat is a tradition that has been followed for thousands of years, dating back to the ancient Egyptians. With the fast pace of life in the 21st century, taking the time to give thanks for a meal has more often than not been left behind. But using the simple act of eating and drinking as an opportunity to be grateful will increase the magic in your life exponentially. Um, it talks about food. So it talks about the people that contributed to you having food. Uh, it talks about the meat growers, the fishermen, the dairy farmers, the coffee and tea growers, the packaged food companies. The world's food production is a breathtaking orchestration that takes place every day, and it's unfathomable that it all works when you think about the number of people involved in maintaining the world's food and drink supplies to stores, restaurants, supermarkets, cafes, airplanes, schools, hospitals, and every home on the planet. It's amazing. Food is a gift. It's a gift of nature because there would be nothing for any of us to eat if nature didn't supply us with the soil, nutrients, and water to grow food. Without water, there would be no food, vegetation, animals, or human life. We use water to cook our meals, grow our food, maintain our gardens, supply our bathrooms, sustain every vehicle that moves, and support our hospital, fuel, mining, and manufacturing industries, enable transportation, make our roads, make clothes, and every consumer product and appliance on the planet, make plastic, glass, and metal, and make life-saving medications and build our homes and every other building and structure. And water keeps our bodies alive. Water, 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 glorious water. If there is magic on the, this planet, it is contained in water, says Lauren Isis Lee anthropologist and natural science writer. Where would we be without food and water? We simply wouldn't be here. None of our family or friends would be here either. And we wouldn't have this day or any tomorrow. But here we are on this beautiful planet together, living life with its challenges and ecstatic joys because of nature's food and water. To say the simple magic words, thank you, before you eat and drink anything is an act of recognition and gratitude for the miracle of food and water. The incredible thing is that when you're grateful for food and water, it doesn't just affect your life. Your gratitude also impacts the world supply. If enough people felt gratitude for food and water, it would actually help the people who are starving and in great need. By the law of attraction and Newton's law of action and reaction, the action of mass gratitude must produce an equal mass reaction. 
which would change the circumstances of scarcity in food and water for everyone on the planet. In addition, your gratitude for food and water keeps the magic continuing in your life and it will weave its glorious golden thread through everything that is dear to you, everything that you love and everything that you're dreaming of. In ancient times, people believed that when they blessed their food and water with gratitude, it purified whatever they were blessing. And when you look at the theories and discoveries that quantum physics have made in recent times, such as the observer effect, the ancients may very well have been right. The observer effect in quantum physics refers to changes that the act of observation makes on whatever is being observed. Imagine if focusing gratitude on your food and drinks changed their energy structure and purified them so that everything you consumed had the ultimate effect of well-being on your body. Then it goes into the importance of savoring your food and your water. And it also says before you do any uh, consuming of anything that you say the magic words. And what are those? Thank you. Um, oh, I like to cheer my fork and this person does something similar. You can also try something I do, which helps me feel even more gratitude. When I say the magic words, I wave my fingers over my food or drink as if I'm sprinkling them with magic dust. And I imagine that the magic dust instantly purifies everything it touches. <laughs> Doing this has helped me really feel that gratitude is the magic ingredient. And I want to add it to everything I eat and drink. <clears throat> That's a good girl, Pippi. Hi. One moment, please. I love you. Oh, yes. Um, you can even find it more effective. You can imagine that you have a shaker of magic dust in your hand and that you're shaking magic dust. All of the things. Hold on, I'm going to let Miss Pip out. There we go. There you go, sweetheart. Okay. There she goes. Oh, no. Yeah, you know it's cold outside. Okay. We'll be going out in a second. Let me just finish this. That's a good girl. I love you. You're so sweet. Okay, I'll just finish this up. If at any time during the day you forgot to say the magic words, thank you, before you drink anything. Oh, look, she hopped on the bed. <laughs> as soon as you remember, close your eyes and go back in your mind to the time when you forgot and visualize yourself in your mind for a second or two before you ate or drank and say the magic words. If you forget to be grateful for food and drinks multiple times in the day, then repeat the same practice tomorrow. You just can't afford to miss a single day in building your gratitude. Your dreams depend on it. Be grateful for the simple things in life like food and water. Um, it's one of the deepest expressions of gratitude. When you can feel that degree of gratitude, you will see magic happen. All right. Hope you can get your journal out. Here we go. Starting with count your blessings. Ten things that you're grateful for why you're grateful for them, and then go back on the list and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then before you eat or drink anything today, say thank you or sprinkle a magic dust of gratitude um, in whatever way you'd like before consuming your item. And before you go to sleep tonight, think through all of the uh, things and choose the best thing that's happened each day. So... I think I might be forgetting this part, so I'm going to try to do that and improve that from here. Okay. Um, thanks for showing up and being here. I hope that magic is flowing into your life with these new practices of gratitude. And um, sparkle on. Go out there, create joy, be you. Okay. See you tomorrow for day nine. The money magnet. Dun, 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 dun. That'll be fun. Okay. Enjoy your journaling. Bye for now. Sparkle on.